Amigos de Intermedia, ¿cómo están? Yo soy Luis G. Y estamos aquí en las alturas, en digamos, un edificio aquí en la ciudad de Nueva York para conocer mucho más del BMW i3. Y estoy aquí con Oliver Walter, que él es digamos, representante de la marca de BMW. Hay esta nueva marca que está introduciendo BMW. Oliver, thank you very much for the interview. It's my pleasure to be here today with you. What is the most important challenge in the BMW i3? Well, from an internal perspective, doing something totally new was kind of a challenge for us. Uh, and the good thing is, we actually did it. Uh, what about the, the people that, that maybe the new users, the people want an, an electric car? Or how do you, I don't know, promote that the people use electric cars? We believe that car is a, a perfect solution for like cities, bigger cities, where people drive in a city around like short distances, but they rather want to have like a convenient car. Convenient space, convenient in terms of thinking with them, using their smartphones, abilities, finding parking lots, etc. And that is perfectly what the i3 is going to deliver. Oliver, by example, in the mobile industry, in the uh, cell phones industry, uh, a big problem is the battery. And maybe in, 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 the, in the car industries, it's another problem, the, 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 the life in the battery. How do you solve this, this situation about the battery? Uh, you're right. It's actually one of the key challenges, the battery technology in electromobility. That is exactly why we designed and actually built our own battery. It's made by BMW uh, and it's one big battery block which is at the lowest part of the car, giving a good stability of the car, very good for driving dynamics. And it's going to deliver a long-lasting performance, what we believe is important. And this is also working for like uh, warmer countries but also for colder countries because we put some specific measures in the battery technology. So that is why we believe it's important to have the right technology. In the conference, we're all listening about, uh, about the car, but actually about the, the big cities, the, the mega cities like Beijing, London, uh, New York. But we're listening about these stations in, w w where the people can charge the car. This is uh, a, a challenge in infrastructure, but what do you think about uh, a city like Mexico that maybe could be complicated, uh, uh, organize all of this uh, situation? Yeah, I think there are uh, different challenges, like in all different cities, you know. What it comes down to is the infrastructure. Uh, what kind of electricity is going to be available to the public, for example? Are there public charging stations yet available and what type? Or can you actually plug in at home, you know? The car is designed that you can charge it at home. Now, assume now, let's say Europe and in Europe, Germany, we have 220 volts, 16 amps, which works very well for charging the car. Now, I learned that Italy is different. I also learned that China is totally different again. There is a challenge, are we going to have access to the current system, for example? And that's why we developed additional uh, solutions like uh, park at my house or park now or even using it in the drive now fleet, for example. For what kind of people, what is the, the, the profile of the people that could be juice and i3? I would say the ones who want to be like a little younger, a bit cooler, you know, like a little more forward thinking. Hipster? Yeah, the, the hip. Yeah, uh, but to be fair, you know, it's a BMW, it's a solid car, it's a real fun to drive car, and it's probably a little more expensive, I would say, as BMWs normally are, luxury and premium brands. I have to, to, to confess something, because is, is, I'm, I'm a really geek, and I, I'm looking for about the BMW i3 on, on Google, and many people is looking for uh, a, a BMW i3 price. What could be the price of, of this vehicle? So what we announced, the prices now in the key market, like in Germany, for Europe, uh, it's just below 35,000 euros. And in the US, I think it's uh, roughly about just above 40,000. So uh, I think that's a very competitive pricing, looking at what is available today. And believe me, if you're going to get behind the wheel and drive the car, you will going to love it. Well, I love it. I believe that the press kit is, is like one of these. <laughs> well, uh, well, thank you very much for the interview. Thank oh, you. Pleasure. Thanks a lot. Take care. Bye bye. Continuamos.